Welcome to Malabar Engineering College. Okay, today I'm gonna take the topic which comes under Advanced Thermodynamics. It's just a comparison between ideal gas and a theoretical gas. That's I'm gonna take about the ideal gas and the real gas. Okay, what's meant by an ideal gas? Ideal gas is a gas which does not exist in real. But there are for certain assumptions for calculations and various reasons we consider a gas which is ideal standards that's known as an ideal gas and what's meant by real gas real gas is a gas that really exists in the nature it's known as a real gas let's see what all are the difference between an ideal gas and a real gas and the first difference is it is a for an ideal gas it is a hypothetical gas it means it never exists in nature it is an ideal consumption and for real gas, the first it is like it's real and exists in nature. That the real gas that really exists in this nature. Okay, the next difference comes like no definite volume. Since it's an assumption, we cannot take a specific volume, we assume the amount of the volume. So there is no defined volume for an ideal gas. And for a real gas has a definite volume. For calculation and various purposes, we use the correct amount of the volume for it. Okay, next it is like for ideal gas there is no specific mass. We take the theoretical mass as assumed. And for real gas has mass. That means we take the real value of the mass about which we are under observation of a conduct. Okay, next the equation for finding the ideal gas is PV equal to RT. Okay, where P is the pressure, V is the volume. R is the characteristics gas constant and T is the temperature and that's how we calculate for the ideal gas and for the real gas we use the equation P plus A by V square into V minus B equal to RT where P is the pressure A and B are the constants and V is the volume and R is the characteristics gas constant and T is the temperature this is how we calculate the real gas for an equation Next, uh, for an ideal gas, it follows gas laws. Like for an ideal gas, it always obeys gas laws. Gas laws are nothing but the laws like Charles' law, Avogadro's law, and uh, various properties like its uh, relation between the volume, pressure, and temperature, like that. And for real gas, it does not obey the gas laws. Like the real gas never obeys the gas laws for every temperature and pressure it has a varying value so it's not right for real gas they don't obey for the gas laws okay and the final is like no force of attraction and repulsion are between the molecule while taking the ideal gas if we cannot calculate the amount of molecular force like when two molecules are placed there will be like a force of attraction or a force of repulsion that we cannot be calculated using this ideal gas equations but for real gas we can calculate the amount of the force like amount of how much the distance the molecules molecules are placed and how close the molecules can be attracted and how far it can be repelled this can be calculated in a real gas and that's how the comparison of the real gas and ideal gas exists by this i conclude my advanced thermodynamics class of s4 automobile thank you